it's not a walkthrough, playthrough, review, anything like that. It's just me playing the game badly, so you can see what it looks like. So, yesterday morning I was wondering, what am I going to do with my day? And I did what I frequently do in the morning and looked on YouTube, and there I saw a video by Sonic Love, who, if you're not subscribed to him, I highly recommend his channel. And what he was showing was a new PS Vita emulator called Vita 3K, the Android version. They've got it for Windows, Mac, Linux, and Android. Uh, he showed it on a couple of handhelds that he's got, two or three in fact. Um, this is not a PS Vita. This is a GPD XP Plus which is a pretty good Android handheld. And running on it we have Vita 3K. It works. Um, if you want to know how to install it, go and watch the video by Sonic Love because he explains it very well and I'm lazy and can't be bothered to show you myself. <laughs> and honestly, why it, it makes no sense for me to show you when he's done it so well already. So, no, what I'm going to do is show you how well it works both on the GPDXP Plus, but on another handheld as well, which is actually far more interesting because you would expect it to run on this. But also, th there's another thing. Right, I'm going to start this game because it's the main reason you want to run Vita 3K on an Android. If you, if you, if you're me, you only want one game on the Vita, and it's the reason I've never actually bought a Vita. I've got a PlayStation TV, so I can play this game if I want to, but it's actually really nice to be able to play it on a handheld. TXK. I feel no qualms about having a ROM of this on here, because I have paid for the game to play it on my PS TV. So, you know, I think it's fair enough, and... Uh, I, I don't think Jeff Minter would... Well, I don't know what he'd say, actually, but, you know, I paid for the game, so... Yeah. You know, I don't... I, I don't mind... Oh, what are we doing? I'll play games by big corporations where I've got the ROM and whatnot. Generally, I'll only do it on, like, stuff where they're not available anymore. But since I have this anyway... The thing is... Okay, this works really well. I'm, I'm playing it looking through the camera screen, which is not ideal. I, uh, now I'm screwing up, because I've got no jump. And they're at the top. And I can't, that's the button for the Super Watch It. Super Watch It, that's a thing, isn't it? Actually, it is. Have you seen those big, cheesy Watch It? Uh, anyone not in the UK will now be really wondering, what the hell am I talking about? I don't know that... The, uh, um, probably have to play a little while to demonstrate something that I wish I wasn't having to demonstrate. But it seems only related to the uh, GPDXP Plus. We'll, we'll see. I'll, I'll skip forward to the relevant moment that will happen. There. That's what it does. And that is a real shame. Vita 3K on the GPDXP Plus crashes when you play TXK. It'll play a few levels and then, sorry, bang, you're out of there. And that's a shame. Uh, I don't know why it does it. It doesn't do it on another handheld that I'll show you in a little while. But anyway, T TXK is a game you would expect to be able to play because it, you know, it's not the most graphically advanced. So, I'm not going to show you all of the games I've got, in it. I've got on here. I've got Super Meat Boy. I don't like it. I've got Race the Sun. Honestly, I don't really like that either. <laughs> Race the Sun takes an age to load for some reason. Um, I've got Pinball Arcade. That works fine. You would expect something like that to be able to play okay on a handheld like this. We've got Asphalt Injection. or asphalt. I've heard it pronounced different ways and I think it depends on whether you're American or English or Northern or Southern or something. It was asphalt when I was a kid but I hear people calling it asphalt now and there is no H in it so 
Whatever. Ah, the Alps. Okay. Asphalt. Uh, asphalt injection. I've, I've edited to get to this point. Because I had to turn the music down. But here we go. I'll now faff about trying to turn off the, uh, uh, switch the camera view. Oh, we've got the right view. Cool. Okay. Peering over the camera. But look at that. This is uh, the most graphically intensive or intense game, whatever, I've got for the Vita, Omni GPD XP Plus. And it's running really nicely. I did install Super Monkey Ball um, Banana Splits because there is a, uh, a compatibility list web page that I will put a link to in the thingy down the bottom, you know, the info area. And you can check that out, see all the games that are supposed to run on this emulator. Having said that, I think they're probably for the Windows version because uh, Monkey Ball Banana Splits absolutely does not run on the Android version. I've tried it on two different handhelds and both have exactly the same problem. Um, it's just super mega glitched out. It's like it runs but it's not playable because all you can see is a screen full of flickering polygons and not like good polygons <laughs> or what I didn't want to do that so okay there you go this this is a demonstration not a gameplay um, it is possible and this will matter if you're messing around with this and trying out games to see will they run because not all games run uh, it's, it's a Several, a couple of hundred, I guess, that do work. You're going to wind up installing a game on here that you don't want because it doesn't run, like Monkey Ball. And to get rid of them, you press on there and hold your finger and it will give you this thing here. And you then, like, go delete and then pick application. And it'll get it off your, your storage, which is good because um, it's kind of weird how it works. Most emulators, if you want to get rid of the ROM because it doesn't work, you just go into the storage through a, a file manager and delete it. But that doesn't happen here because um, you're not playing it from the ROM that you've downloaded. You, you download the ROM from wherever and um, I'm not the ROMs you get from the majority of the websites that you're going to come across on Google will not work. Um, and I don't know anything whatsoever about no pay station and you certainly shouldn't Google that because, you know, um, <clears throat> yeah, um, I didn't tell you anything about that. But what you'll wind up with is a... Uh, the files that you need but you'll need it's funny because um the method that you use for downloading them if you're using the thing that i just told you i don't know anything about it will uncompress them from how they are stored and then you have to take all of that and recompress it into a uh, zip file confusing but there it is um so yeah you put them onto your sd card and then point this thing at it using that there. Install zip. Select file. You, you pick your file from wherever you've got it. Tap it. I'm not going to because they're already installed. And it will install it. But wherever it puts it, it's somewhere within the actual system storage rather than on the uh, SD card. And you can manually go and find them with a file manager if you like, uh, but it, it doesn't take them off of this list and it also causes the thing to crash. I know this, I tried this, because initially I didn't know about the holding the thing, hold, holding it down to get, to get that menu, which now just didn't... <laughs> 
Yeah, that's not what I want to do. The thing that I showed you earlier that it's now not doing there, that. <laughs> okay. Enough. I'm going to show you this on a different handheld now because this blew my mind. Bear with me. So, I was going to test Vita 3K on the RG552 from Anbanik, but it doesn't work because the 552 doesn't have a modern or recent enough version of Android. So, I thought, let's have a go on the RG353. It's got a modern version of Android, but that's surely never going to work, is it? Well, it is problematic because the screen is tiny and getting at the... Uh, menu options and stuff is really really difficult but god trying to see the screen here is proving difficult but yes txk and it doesn't crash So the, the crashing on my uh, GPD XP Plus is not an issue with the emulator, it is an issue with the hardware. Um, I don't know why, but some aspect of that hardware, be it the CPU or the GPU, or the operating system, I don't know, it doesn't like this particular game. Um, but on the RG353 it runs great, which is very pleasing. But it surely won't run anything more advanced than that, eh? Well, currently I've only got one other game on here right now. Have I? No, I've got two. I've got Pinball Game and I have got Asphalt Injection. That surely won't run on this. Surely not. Not. <laughs> no. Hmm. Okay then. Controls, can't remember. Uh, not that. There we go. Um trying to get the uh, okay. View. That's that's the right button. Okay, there, look at that. <laughs> it's it's working. Oh, let's try and get it on the screen. The frame rate is a little choppy compared to on the GPD, GPD XP Plus, that so doesn't roll off the tongue. Yeah, it's it's not quite as smooth as that. But look at it. It's working. I'm playing appallingly because I'm holding the thing up to the camera, which is not how you should do this. Look at that. It's probably completely out of focus. But look at that. I am astounded that you can play PS Vita on RG353M you can play it badly if you're me um, the frame rate on this is kind of like um, God, Outrun Coast to Coast on the PSP actual hardware um, you know, you can feel it's a little bit choppy, but it plays okay. That's that's pretty much what it's like, and it's very pretty. So uh, there you go. Now, I think it is probably just my RG353M. It does have some issues when using this emulator um, apart from the fact that it is really hard to get at like these here menu things names titles whatever trying to trying to you know it is really bloody hard to click the right one and make them respond because they're tiny and the touch screen is not great but I also had problems with, uh, well, for some reason, for about half an hour, it just wasn't responding to the controls. Um, I just think Android on this particular handheld is not 
working completely as it should. Sometimes it's to do with whether this SD card, micro SD card, is seated properly. I have to pop it out and then pop it back in again and things work again. It's a bit of a pain in the ass. It's a little bit unreliable. Again, it is what it is. Um, would I recommend buying an RG353M purely to play Vita? No, <laughs> I wouldn't. But if you've got one, I'd say give it a go. Absolutely. And uh, as I said earlier, check out um, Sonic Love's video. I will link to it in, to the, in, in the info bar below. Check out his video on how to install the... Um, emulator it's not difficult it's quite clever in some ways and as for where to get vita roms i absolutely did not allude to any particular site or utility earlier and you shouldn't do that at all because you know <laughs> don't come asking me how do i do this and how do i do that and where do i do this where do i do get that you know um do your research google is your friend these things are findable Okay, and also don't ask me, does this game play or that game play? Look at the compatibility list that I have also linked to. Whenever I do reviews of these handhelds, I always, usually later on, it's not my regular viewers, it's people who find me via search, they come and ask questions, does this game work? And I'm like, actually, I don't answer anymore. <laughs> so uh, if you're asking me stuff like that, don't expect a response. You won't get one. Okay, brilliant emulator on well it seems to run on pretty much any recent android handheld i think mm, okay thank you for watching ah there you are have you finished polishing the silverware like i asked you yes splendid here's 50 pence now go and click the subscribe button like a good peasant